is Heather from A More Crafty Life. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do my gray and green easy striped blanket using um, a double crochet together stitch or kind of a cluster stitch. It's an easy blanket that works up pretty quickly. I made the original one using Bernat Baby Blanket yarn and self-striping and sprouts, which is a great um, gray, green, and white self-striping blanket. I used two skeins of that and a nine millimeter or N crochet hook. In this example, I don't have, I'm all out of that yarn. I am using Bernat dappled blanket yarn and blue wandering, which the dappled is really soft and it makes a really pretty um, ombre color. So the first thing you need to do is crochet an even number of stitches. For the blanket, for 28 inches wide, I crocheted 64. For this example, I'm going to crochet 20, just to show you how to do the pattern. So, any even number will work. And if you want to make a large throw, like double the size, you would need You would need um, four times as much yarn, so eight skeins, and you would need to crochet 130 um, stitches, approximately. And you can have a throw to cuddle up with on the couch. Okay, so let's do that um, 20, chain 20. working with this yarn this is um, a super bulky um, gauge six chenille um, it's easy to find Bernat um, has a bunch of different colors dappled baby brights ombres for you to choose from um, and since it's so thick it works up quickly it's a little hard if you're a beginner kind of to see the holes but um, with a little practice it gets pretty easy to work with okay so we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So here's the hook, one, two, do one single crochet, followed by one chain one. And then you're going to skip a chain in the chain and do a single crochet, followed by a chain one. Skip a stitch, single crochet, followed by a chain one. And you're gonna continue to the end of the row and I'll meet you there. Okay, so we've end, we're close to the end. We're at the last two stitches. Um, you did your single crochet, your chain one, skip one space, and then the last stitch is a single crochet. Make sure that you ignore the knot. Um, it doesn't count as a stitch. Okay. So here we are, then you're going to chain three for our next row. Turn your work and it should look like this. You have holes, single crochet followed by a hole. And that's where you're going to put your double crochet together stitch or a cluster stitch. So in the first space, I'm going to double crochet together, which is two double crochets, half two double crochets, put together in the same stitch. So you start like a double crochet. So you yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert hook, in the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, go through two loops, and then you'll have three, and then you finish the stitch followed by one chain. And that is your stitch pattern 
until you get to the last stitch. So here, let me show you that again. Yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull up a stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, you have three on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three of those, followed by one chain one. Then you find your next space, yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, you have three, yarn over, pull through all three, and then chain one. So this is what it should look like. You should have clusters followed by a chain one, and it keeps going. So I'll keep repeating that and I will meet you at the end. Okay, so I finished this cluster stitch and my chain one, and then in, I have the next space, do one more cluster. And then you're at your last stitch. After you do your chain one, that is where you do one double crochet. Then you chain two and turn. And then this row is very similar to the first row. You are going to single crochet in each chain one space followed by a chain one. So single crochet in the space, chain one. Single crochet in the space, chain one. And you're gonna keep repeating it until the end of the row. Okay, so I'm, you're in the last um, chain one space and you've done your single crochet followed by a chain one. And then your last stitch is a single crochet on, in the last stitch on top of the double crochet from the row before. Then you are going to chain three and you are going to repeat the cluster row the second and the third row until you have the height or the length of the blanket that you would like. This pattern is pretty easy. It goes pretty fast with the double crochet together stitch or the cluster. I can. It's easy enough that I can watch TV, um, my favorite show, and crochet at the same time. And since it's such a thick yarn, you can finish your project pretty quickly. You can find this pattern and more on my blog, um, More Crafty Life. You can find it in the description below the video, or you can search for the gray green easy striped blanket. There is a free PDF towards the bottom of my post um, about the blanket. There's more pictures you can see um, what it looks like. Plus there's hundreds of other um, free patterns on my blog. Thanks for watching. Hi, this is Heather from A More Crafty Life, and today I'm going to show you how to make my gray-blue 
Skies Crochet Baby Blanket using Bernat Baby Blanket Yarn Stripes, at least in the original pattern. I used a 9mm crochet hook, also known as an N, and um, Bernat Baby Blanket Yarn Stripes above the clouds or any super bulky um, gauge six yarn. You need two 10.5 ounce cakes um, of yarn. For this example, I'm going to show you how to do it using Bernat Baby Blanket Yarn and Dappled, and this one is called Wandering Blue. So let's get started. Let's get started. For this pattern, you always need an even number. For the blanket, which ends up being about approximately 30 inches by 33 inches, you need to chain 64. So let's get started. Okay, I will see you at the end of the chain to start the next row. When you have your 64 or whatever um, even number you are using, you are going to double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So one, two, three. And do one double crochet, followed by one single crochet. And then that's what you're going to repeat. One double crochet, followed by one single crochet. And right now you can't really see anything, but it's going to end up going up and down. So we did a single and then follow it with another double, single, and keep repeating until you get to the end of the row. When you have one last one stitch left, we'll come back. When you get to the end of the row, your work should look like this. And then you did, you have one stitch left and you did a double and then you end with another double. So you have two doubles in next to each other. Then you are going to chain three and turn your work. And the chain three counts as the first stitch and then you are going to repeat um, your double crochet, single crochet. So the second stitch will be a double crochet. Followed by a single crochet. Double crochet. Followed by a single crochet and repeat until you get to the end of the row and you have one stitch left. And it should look like this so far. It's kind of hard to see, but um, it looks the best when you have more color changes, um, which you see as you go on with the ombre color, but there's the short and then the long um, stitches. So I'll meet you at the end of the row so here's how it should be looking. And when you get to the end of the row, um, you'll have two double crochets to finish. And then you repeat ro this row, row two, until you have the length that you want. So you finish the row with your two double crochets, then you would chain three and turn your work and um, continue. And I used um, all the skeins of yarn um, finishing when I had a complete row. And then um, not cut your ends and weave them in. Um, one thing to remember on Bernat blanket yarn is you wanna leave a long tail of yarn, at least six inches to weave in because they have a tendency to come out pretty easily. Um, this pattern is great because it's really easy. You can pick it up. Um, if you have to put it down, if you get interrupted, it's great for watching TV with it. And it has, um, it comes out with just a um, few holes and you can easily scale it up by using um, any even number 
and just measuring the chain before you start. You can find a free PDF pattern on my blog, A More Crafty Life. Um, please subscribe and thanks for watching. This is Heather from A More Crafty Life. Today I'm going to show you how to do a Trinity stitch, which kind of looks, if you've ever seen um, a daisy or a star, kind of like a flower or a three-part stitch. I'm using Lily Sugar and Cream cotton yarn in um, Coral Sea Ombre and a five millimeter crochet hook. You could use any yarn you wanted. For this stitch, you need a multiple of two. So for the example, I am going to crochet 20. And this is a left-handed video. When you have your 20, you are going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Any multiple of two for your chain will work. So here's one, two, single crochet. And then you're going to do what is called a single crochet three together stitch, which is sometimes used, used to decrease, but not in this case. And in the same stitch that you just did the single crochet, you are going to insert your hook, pull up a loop, then you're going to go to the next stitch, insert your hook, pull up a loop, and then go to the third stitch, insert your hook, pull up a loop, and then you have four loops, you yarn over and you pull through all four loops. And then you finish the stitch with a single, with a chain one. And it should look like this. And that is called the single crochet three together stitch. And that's what you're going to use for the whole pattern. So then you start your next single crochet three together stitch in the last leg of your stitch. So here's the last place I did. I'm gonna insert my hook, pull up a loop, go to the next chain, insert my hook, pull up a loop, go to the third one, insert my hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through all four, chain one to finish the stitch, and then repeat. Go to the last stitch you did of the leg of the three crochet together, pull up a loop, then you go to the second one, then to the third, pull up a loop in each one, yarn over, pull through three, and finish with a chain one. And that's what it's going to start to look like. And it, as you can see here where it changes colors, you can see a little bit letter. See, it has the three parts. Okay, and then we continue. You insert your hook where your last, the last stitch finished, pull up a loop, insert your hook, pull up a loop, insert your hook for a third time. You have four loops on your hook. You yarn over and you pull through all four. And you finish with a chain one. Okay, and you pull up 
three separate stitches, you pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all four, and finish with a chain one. So it should start looking like this. Keep going. And you always start in the last leg of the stitch that you did. And you always finish it with a chain one. Okay. Continue to the end of the row. I've used this stitch to make a blanket, washcloth, a cowl, and a hat. Works good in bulky and in worsted weight yarn. Okay, so now that I'm at the end with my last two stitches that you can see here, you do a final stitch and then what you do to end is you do one single crochet in the last leg of the stitch. And here's your row, first row of the Trinity stitch. Then you are going to chain one and turn your work. And this is what the other side looks like. And where you chain one, you are going to do one single crochet and then you're also going to start your first single crochet three together stitch in the same stitch. So you're going to pull up a stitch in the first stitch, pull up a stitch kind of where the star kind of pattern or the triple, the center of it is. And then you're going to go to the third um, space and pull up a stitch. So you should have four on your hook, just like before. You yarn over and you finish the stitch with a chain one. Then you start your next stitch in the leg of the one you just did. You pull up a stitch in the three spaces, yarn over, and finish it with a chain one. So this is what it looks like for your second row. And you just keep continuing this until you get to the end of the row. And your last leg of your last crochet three together stitch goes in the last stitch of the row. And I think that's the only thing that makes it any different. And you just repeat this row for your entire project. And um, this stitch isn't, after you've got it set up, the stitch isn't um, particularly hard. It um, takes a while, it's not the fastest stitch, um, but it's not complicated and it gives you a, a different kind of texture that I like. So you keep continuing. And I think the one thing that you have to watch for is to make sure that none of your stitches um, are spread out too far. Sometimes you can kind of pull this one and give it too much space. So it looks like this, it kind of looks, in, in the multicolor, it kind of looks like little flowers to me. So then when you get to your last stitch, which we're getting close, okay. Okay, so here we're at the end and you think, you might think that you wanna put it here and then you would still have one stitch left over, but you wanna put it in the last single crochet from the row before. So that makes the edge straight. Otherwise, it doesn't look right. So you put it in the last single crochet from the row before, kind of skipping that stitch. And then you do one single crochet here to finish the row, chain one, and then you turn. So this is what it looks like on this side. And then you continue that row. You'll put a single crochet in the first stitch, and then you will start your single crochet three together in the first stitch and then you continue. And this is what it looks like. 
You can find the written pattern for this on my blog, um, A More Crafty Life. It will be linked below, plus hundreds of other free patterns. There'll be a free PDF for you to download. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.